Hi, Taurus. Thank you for being here. Um, okay. Sorry about that, Taurus. I'm Jennifer. I'm going to do your reading for you, and we'll find out what messages spirits have for you today for your daily energy check. Let's find out what's going on, Taurus. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? What's happening with Taurus? Okay, so we have the Two of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Okay, so there's somebody coming towards you, Taurus. Wow. Gemini energy. This is a soul connection that's coming towards you. We have the Queen of Swords and we have the Ace of Swords. Wow, pretty amazing reading so far. Let's clarify and find out what's going on. Why is the Two of Cups here? Yeah, someone's coming towards you. This is the slowest energy in tarot. So this person's been gone for quite some time. This is someone that you're in separation with. There's someone else here too. There's two knights. It's almost like, yeah, the tower is getting ready to happen. You have a choice because there's two people here, Taurus. There's someone um, who you're in separation with that is coming towards you and someone, someone else is not happy. They're angry about this person coming towards you. And I'm seeing a tower happening here. So you can literally see this person's face. It's like they're not happy. Uh, whoever this is that's coming towards you. It's almost like this person is stopped. Like, whoa, wait a minute. Actually, we have three knights here. Why is the Knight of Cups here? And so you have a choice in love. Who are you going to give this cup of love to? The person that you love, that you want to give your heart to, has caused you a lot of pain, a lot of suffering with the Three of Swords. And you've invested a lot into this Knight of Pentacles. A lot of, of heartbreak. But you love this person. Okay, so... The High Priestess, she could be dealing with the Pisces. But there's something here that you keep to yourself. Your feelings, your pain, you're keeping it to yourself. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Ace of Wands. Five of Swords. You want this new passionate beginning with, with this person, Taurus, but it's, it's going to cause a fight when this person returns to you. I can just see it here. Someone's not happy about it. They're angry about it. Why are the lovers here? The Three of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles. This could even be a child that's not mad about it. I mean, that's mad about it. This person is coming with an apology. They, they are legitimately wanting to build with you but there's just there's someone here that's not happy 
Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Ten of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. There could have had there could have been something to do with money or a home here that caused this. Someone could be in jail with the Eight of Swords. This this person feels to you like this is your happiness. This is someone that you love, someone that you want to give to. Queen of Pentacles. And um, it's divine timing is here, so it's time for you to make this decision. Because this is about your happiness with the Ten of Pentacles. This person... This could be a blended family, but this person feels like, you know, like this, this is your happiness. You love this person. This person feels to you like your other half. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Judgment. Yeah, you'll be getting communication from this person. This person really wants to give you it all, Taurus. They're moving towards you here. They, they want to give you it all. Judgment is here, so you're going to have to make a decision about this person. This could be an earth sign, a Taurus Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, doesn't have to be. It could be any sign, but that's the significant sign that's showing up here. But so there's someone here that is not happy about this connection. Let's just grab a Kipper card and see what shows up. What does Taurus need to know? The lovers. Okay, so we have bad health, the lovers, and concern. Okay, so this is someone that you have a lot of love for that I feel like you worry about this person, Taurus. You could worry about their health or there's something about this person that you do worry about them because you love them. Why is bad help there? Okay, so they could be um, suffering from a lack of money for some of them with poverty here. Why is lovers here? See, this person, it makes you feel, it feels like your other half. I have sudden wealth here, so this person... It gives you, like, like you know this is your person, is what I'm feeling. Concern. Message of concern. So you'll be receiving a message from this person. And with Coffin showing up on the bottom of the deck, this is someone that you're going to be hearing, you're going to be getting a message from. And I feel like this connection could be over already. And it's someone returning to you. They could have some type of an addiction or something here. But let's get some advice for you, Taurus. Advice for Taurus spirits. Advice for Taurus. We have your dreams need a practical plan. That's full moon in Taurus. That's you. And step out of your comfort zone. North node. 
You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. And have faith in your dreams. That says waxing crescent moon. And it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. All right, Taurus, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for liking and subscribing and all of your support. And I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.